Hey, what's up, John? It's your boy, Mike. I just got back from Austin yesterday. I went to Classic Game Fest in Austin, Texas. It was downtown at the Palmer Center. This is my second year going. Last year, I went as a just a attendee. I just went for one day, drove up and came back. And then um, this year, uh, I went. I didn't sell as a vendor, but I went with Greg from Culture Shock. He invited me along to come help out with his booth. And so I helped him set up on Friday, loaded in, and then... Uh, it was fun hanging out with everybody. And then uh, then Saturday we had the convention. The convention was crazy. The VIP at, I think it opened at nine on Saturday. There was like a huge line, a big rush of people coming in. And then uh, it was really busy on Saturday. The line like wrapped all the way around the booth. Greg had like four booths together and the line wrapped all the way around the booth. Uh, I'm gonna show you the booth. I'll cut in some footage of the booth so you could see how we had the setup. It was pretty cool. We had like the high end stuff up by the cash register. Then we had like CIB, Super Nintendo, NES. Then we went NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis. Then we um, went into the disc space around the backside, like uh, Xbox, Xbox 360, Wii, PS2, PS3, Vita, uh, PSP, and uh, handhelds. So it was really cool. It was really cool the way we set everything up in a big circle like that. But it was crazy what sold the surprising thing. Like a lot of people were buying Xbox and Xbox 360. When we first set up, we didn't have enough room. We had the boxes under the table and people just kept buying Xbox. The second day we were able to put everything out. Um, but I was surprised like we and Xbox and Xbox 360 was selling. Uh, PS2, PS3 was selling like crazy. So it was a really good time um, uh, helping Greg out. And uh I'm definitely uh, gonna be going back next year. I think they're doing a three-day event next year. I've never been to a three-day convention. That's gonna be really fun, but it's gonna be really tiring. Uh, my legs were super sore from just standing all day walking. It was really cool seeing everybody, seeing all the vendors, uh, seeing all the Houston people. Like uh, I just like hanging out with Houston people when when we go to other towns, and it's fun like just being surrounded by our friends and uh, seeing everybody that we know from Houston. I see a lot of the same faces though. I mean, I've been to a lot of conventions now in Houston, Austin, San Antonio, and the hardcore guys, like they're at everything. So I did see a lot of people that I know. So that was cool. But yeah, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what all I picked up. Um, and then also I had some pickups last week. Last week was a busy week for me with pickups. Uh, I got a huge NES lot with like a really surprising game. So stick around, put that at the end so you can see that. And then I also got in on, um, there was a rental store and all their games were found at a garage sale. Uh, you won't believe the price that they paid. And then I ended up getting some of the games out of that garage sale fine, uh, which was a lot of NES uh, in box. But yeah, man, they, but Classic Game Fest was awesome convention. I mean, man, I saw some games that I've never seen. Um, I saw two copies of Little Samson. I saw... Two complete in-box copies of Hagane, three big box Earthbounds, uh, crazy Turbo Graphics stuff. I, a guy had a Splatterhouse well, complete in-box with the cardboard and everything. I picked it up uh, for Greg because that's the last piece he needs for his Splatterhouse collection. Um, man, you name it, I saw it. Like if it was, if you were, I, I believe you probably could have put together a full NES set there. I saw Chippendale Two, Ducktales Two. I saw. Panic Restaurant, Bonk in the Box. Um, I saw every, like, every rare NES game. Outside of, like, a Nintendo World Championship cart, um, everything was there. And a lot of manuals for, like, crazy games, boxes boxes for games. Um, almost, like, all of the top 10 NES games. I saw Dinosaur Peak. I don't know if I mentioned that. But, yeah, it was really crazy, the amount of NES stuff that was there. Uh, for Super Nintendo, I saw a lot of good stuff. You've got Hagane, Wild Guns, Ninja Warriors. Um, you know, all that stuff was crazy. I didn't see a ton of uh, handhelds, but also that stuff's hard to find because it's kind of like small. And I didn't get a chance to really look at everything. Like Saturday was so busy, I didn't really get to walk around much. And then on um, on uh, on Sunday, it slowed down a little bit and I was able to go walk around. But yeah, I had a really awesome time. If I saw you there, you saw me there, comment below, say what's up. It'd be cool to connect on YouTube and, uh, you know, 
so I can uh, follow you and uh, you can follow me. And uh, yeah, so with that said, I'm going to get into my pickups and I'll show you um, what uh, our booth looked like. Cool. All right. Uh, comment down below and that's it. Peace out. All right. Let's take a look at my haul of everything I brought back from Classic Game Fest in Austin. These are cool. These are little magnets. They're not games. They're like a little magnet. Um, this booth was making these little 3D printed uh, carts. They're pretty cool. But I kept seeing this and thinking like, oh, I didn't know I had Metroid 2. But it's not It's not a real game. Um, picked this up because I have the box. So I wanted to complete it. Got some really good Super Nintendo. Most of this stuff, um, Super Nintendo, I picked up from Game Exchange. Their booth was crazy. They had really good stuff, really good prices, and they were working with us on deals. I got Mighty Final Fight from them. Turtles, Tournament Fighters, Nightmare on Elm Street, Mega Man. Mad Max, I have the box for. I need the cart. All these, like Renegade, I have the box. Silkworm, box. Double Dragon, Monster Party. That was the only game I got just because I wanted it. Uh, I got this in on trade. Pokemon Fire Red. It's, uh, it's really nice. This is the uh, Player's Choice version. Uh, but it's a really, really nice uh, copy. Super complete. Got Xena Gears on PlayStation. I got a bunch of PS2. This is just what's left of. I did have Shattered, Shattered uh, Memories, but um, that one already sold. But uh, I got Silent Hill 3, Resident Evil Outbreak File 2, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Um, on GameCube, Pokemon Coliseum, Mario Kart Double Dash. I got a couple sealed 3DS games. Uh, Super Mario Land, Super, uh, New Animal Crossing, New Leaf, uh, Mission Impossible 2. This is like a uh, unlicensed game for the NES, but uh, I have the box and manual, so I needed the cart. Uh, somebody just like wanted to get rid of this uh, automobile Lamborghini, so I picked that one up. This is like, oh, probably my favorite thing of the whole convention. This is um, a Gulf War. Uh, Desert Camo um, Game Boy Organizer. I've never seen this before. Uh, I wonder if it was like something that actually went to the Gulf War, but the timeline matches up for the Game Boy and this piece. Pretty cool. Um, I got this from Matt. Uh, the Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition uh, Turbo um, Arcade. Uh, what do you call it? Marquee. Um, right here I got the, the uh, N64 organizer. It's really nice and it has the paperwork inside, like the original, um, like registration or something. Picked up Illusion of Gaia in box. Um, this thing's like, yeah, complete, super heavy. I got a bunch of manuals. So I have a, I have a ton of, uh, of boxes over here that are missing manuals. And so, um, I got a bunch of manuals, but the coolest one is this Jetsons, uh, because I have the cart, so I got the Jetsons manual. Um, but these are all boxes that I'm missing the manuals for, so it was a great convention for manuals. I'm a big manuals guy. Uh, I got this on trade, uh, Pokemon Black, Pokemon Black 2, and a, um, a new 3DS XL, so that's pretty cool. Uh, got some Dreamcast stuff on trade, some really good stuff. Skies of Arcadia, uh, Jet Grind Radio, yeah, GTA 2. Crazy Taxi, Virtual Tennis, one of my favorite tennis games. Um, still, I love playing that. Grandia 2, and then like some sports, Dreamcast sports games. And then I got, typical me fashion, I got two copies of Nintendo Power number one. So I got one uh, from Greg from uh, Game Bros, and then I got another copy traded with these uh, Dreamcast games. So I had a really, really fun time. It was an awesome convention. Pickups were huge. Uh, really excited about Mighty Final Fight. Um, that's a really, really nice uh, game. I remember, man, a couple years ago thinking I would never get it. And uh, really glad to get this. Um, super cool. And Turtles Tournament Fighters. This was one that, like, always evaded me locally. I've never, I never see it, like, in Houston or in the wild. But uh, they actually had two copies. So I got one and AC got the other one from uh, game exchange but yeah that's all the pickups i uh, had a really fun time i'm definitely gonna be going back next year looking forward to it um 
So yeah, let me know what your favorite pickup is. Uh, it's hard to really say. I think, uh, I don't know, for me, it's probably the Jetsons Manual, Mighty Final Fight, or the, the uh, Chocolate Chip Desert Storm Camo Game Boy case. I love cases. I love camo. I love Desert Storm. So, I don't know. I think this is something I've never seen and really cool. So, yeah. Thanks for checking it out. All right. So, this box is all from a rental store uh, in Bryan College Station. Uh, pretty much every, everybody in Houston got uh, some of this collection. Uh, there was some crazy stuff in there. Uh, Hagane in box. Ninja Warriors. Some really crazy stuff. This is kind of the NES scraps, which is uh, what I love, is NES cardboard. But um, these are the games that are uh, cart, cart and box only. But some good stuff in here. Rampage, Robocop, Lolo, uh, Punisher, Dragon's Lair. Uh, this is really cool. This was box only, but I had the cart uh, Super Mario Left Bros. So I never had that before, really cool piece. Um, and then these ones over here are games that were uh, box only and I was able to, I either had the game or I was able to complete them um, at really rad weekend, not really rad weekend, uh, Retro Gaming Expo. I was able to complete these, find all these games and some, most of them have manuals now too. Um, I forgot. Uh, Mad Max still needs a manual, so I'm gonna move it over to this box. But uh, yeah, these all all I completed. Uh, this super game, I also had a Super Metroid that I uh, I sold to Steven. Uh, but yeah, and then there's a bunch of Genesis. Uh, nothing too crazy. A lot of sports games, really sun faded. But there's some good some good games. Uh, Justice League, Maximum Carnage, Sonic Two. I think there's a Comic Zone in there, uh, Mega Bomber Man, Mutant League Football. So really good games. But yeah, these were all out of a rental store uh, that was in Bryan College Station. And basically, uh, um, the story was that these kids found, some kids found this in a neighborhood garage sale, and they paid 50 cents a game. Uh, so they paid like 40 bucks for the whole lot, which included all that Super Nintendo uh, really crazy stuff, but this was my part of it. Uh, this is kind of my specialty is uh, NES and NES manuals and NES cardboard. So I was happy to pick all this stuff up. It's a pretty cool pickup last week. All right, so this is a crazy pickup. My buddy AC hooked me up on. He got this lot, a bunch of stuff. He's like, man, this is too much NES stuff for me. So um, he ended up... Uh, let me get in on the deal. It's like 160 NES games. Uh, I paid Delphi, but it's like a video one. So we have a Riverdale. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Music on it, so it's not anything. A lot of fun. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of B-roll. Yeah, B-roll. Yeah. Good, good stuff in here. Batman, DuckTales, um, the uh, Oreos Wood. That one's getting up there. Monster Party, Battletoads. Um... Yeah, some good, some good stuff. Um, nothing too crazy, um, but obviously this bin, this bin is like too deep uh, with games. Not really a lot of doubles either. It's bit, I mean, pretty much this, some of this collection. Uh, you got Turtles Arcade, Little Mermaid, Rampage. So, uh, sorry, I'm like bent over here trying to film this stuff. But yeah, uh, Boy in His Blob, some good games for sure. Um, here's a couple of cool ones that's what I was looking for. Uh, Fisher Price, the Firehouse Rescue, that's kind of a rare piece, rare game. Batman Returns, good Konami game. Um, yeah, but uh, all pretty good stuff. And then... Um, the rarest piece that was in here is this one. I put it in a box protector, but Jetsons, Cogswell's Caper. Never had this game, so super cool. Super cool video game a lot. So, 
my NES collection is growing. I probably have, I don't know, over 250 games now. Super Nintendo, I'm trying to get some more. Been looking for Super Nintendo, it's been hard to get, but um, I just haven't been coming across it at the right the right price. So I've been focusing on getting more Super, but uh, yeah, pretty cool uh, pickup.